Hello folks, Simon here. Welcome back to the channel for some potentially exciting Final Fantasy VII news. We're going to kick the ball rolling now for 2021. Maybe. It might not be that exciting. It might fizzle out, but I don't think so. I think there's something here. So, the article here over at Jimatsu, which I'll leave a link to for you in the description. Uh, the headline reads, Square Enix Trademarks Ever Crisis, The First Soldier, and Shinra Logo in Japan. So clearly these are all related to Final Fantasy VII. Just a warning, I'm going to be going a little bit into Final Fantasy VII spoilers in this video as we look at explaining some of these trademarks. Now, if you've only played Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1 and you're not really that familiar with the original game, then some of these could be pretty big spoilers, so just be warned about that. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the article. So Square Enix filed trademarks for Ever Crisis and The First Soldier. That was on December 17th last year in Japan. And then the Shinra logo on December 22nd. All three of those were just made public today. Okay, so the first of these trademarks is Ever Crisis. Now, for those that are familiar with the Final Fantasy VII compilation from back in the day, you you know, you might remember uh, two games. One was called Before Crisis. That was a mobile-only game that was released in Japan. And also one that many more of you will be familiar with, was Crisis Core, a PSP release that featured Zack as the main protagonist, and that was a prequel to Final Fantasy VII. Now, Crisis Core in particular did build up quite a following of fans. It did become very popular, despite being limited as a PSP exclusive. Now, I've often wondered why Square have never done anything with that game. As I said, it seems to, at least to me, to have been a very popular game. Around my channel, people talk about it quite regularly, and I'm often seeing articles about it online. So I'm surprised that Square never re-released that game. Not even as a remaster, just as a normal re-release on, say, PS4 or something. They probably would have made quite a bit of money off doing so. Uh, but for whatever reason, they didn't. But maybe that's whatever Crisis is going to be. Some kind of re-release of Crisis Core. I think a lot of people would be happy if it was. Square, uh, of course, working on Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two at the moment. That is in full development. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to be really trying to capitalise on the Final Fantasy VII franchise as a whole whilst, you know, they're pushing out the remake games. So maybe that's what these trademarks are all going to be about. Smaller titles, smaller games maybe, that are just going to keep Final Fantasy VII in the, you know, the gamers and the public's consciousness as we wait for these other releases, these major releases. And next up, uh, we have the First Soldier, which Jimatsu... I think logically concludes maybe a reference to Sephiroth, the main villain of Final Fantasy VII. Now, this is where we're going to be getting into a little bit of spoiler territory. That makes perfect sense. Uh, Sephiroth, as I'm sure many of you know, uh, was a very special person because when he was pregnant, it was Hojo, Professor Hojo, who injected Sephiroth's mother, Lucretia, while she was carrying him as her unborn infant. He injected her with cells from the alien extraterrestrial Genova. And it was because of that that Sephiroth was uh, given the superhuman powers that he's so famous for having. And Shinra wanted to capitalize on that. They wanted to use Sephiroth's DNA to try and breed a race of soldiers themselves. So yeah, Sephiroth was known, I guess, as the first soldier. So whatever this is gonna be, is it gonna be a game? Is it gonna be a movie? Is it gonna be a comic book? I don't know, but it seems to be something related to Sephiroth and perhaps his story as to how he was created, how he became powerful, what happened to his mother, all of that stuff. It is touched on in the original Final Fantasy VII, uh, but it is, you know, spoken of in flashbacks and in dialogue because it's all ancient history by the time that the events of Final Fantasy VII are taking place. So if we're going to get some form of media that um, is actually focused on that part of the game's history, then I'm all for that, you know, that Sephiroth is a fantastic character, and having something, you know, that, where he's the focus like that, uh, I think a lot of people would love. And then finally, you know, they've gone ahead and uh, copyright, or trademark, sorry, the Shinra Electric Power Company logo. That's an interesting one. I'm not sure why. Perhaps it's just going to be popping up in several places, uh, in prominent positions and stuff, advertisements, commercials, uh, billboards, and they just want to make sure that that's not going to get copied because obviously 
the logo for Shinra Square are going to want to be, uh, you know, have that associated with Final Fantasy VII. Uh, and that's it. So there's no further details on these trademarks right now. I know we've speculated a little bit, but I think it's probably a good idea to leave things there. I think the uh, big one that people are going to be talking about is Ever Crisis, just because it's gonna. It just sounds so similar to Crisis Core, uh, a game that many people have been expecting Square to have re-released, but up until this point they have not done so. So maybe that's what that's going to be. But for me. I'm very intrigued by what the first soldier is going to materialise into. Um, yeah, you know, maybe a movie. We haven't had much Final Fantasy movie action recently, have we? Especially not for Final Fantasy VII. I think the last Final Fantasy movie was uh, King's Glive, wasn't it, for FF15? Uh, so maybe that's what one of these is going to be. But yeah, please do share your thoughts down in the comments section, guys. Um, I am expecting a lot of Final Fantasy news this year in terms of the remake and in terms of Final Fantasy XVI. So I will be covering all of that as and when it happens, and hopefully you guys uh, will enjoy that kind of content. So please do stick around, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.